The blue flashing light on your Virgin Media Hub 5 has specific meanings that help you understand what your router is doing. This light primarily relates to two main functions. First, the blue light is connected to WPS, which stands for Wi-Fi Protected Setup. This feature allows you to connect devices to your network quickly and securely. The blue light shows different patterns depending on what the hub is doing. A slow flashing blue light means the hub is searching for a device to connect via WPS. When the blue light turns solid for about 20 seconds, this indicates a successful WPS connection has been established between your hub and the device. A rapid flashing blue light means the WPS connection attempt has failed. This usually happens when devices are out of range or not in pairing mode. The blue light can also appear during the hub's normal boot up sequence when you first power it on. This is completely normal and should only last a few moments. However, if the blue light persists for an extended period, this could indicate an activation issue. Some new Hub 5 users report needing to contact Virgin Media support to manually activate their hub for internet connectivity. When your Virgin Hub 5 shows a persistent blue flashing light, it indicates a connection issue that needs troubleshooting. Here are the systematic steps to resolve this problem. Step one, check if the WPS button on the back of your hub has been accidentally activated. WPS or Wi-Fi protected setup can cause the blue flashing light when trying to connect devices. Step two, power cycle your hub by unplugging the power cable, waiting 30 seconds, then plugging it back in. This clears temporary glitches and resets the connection process. Step three, verify all cable connections are secure. Check the coax cable from the wall outlet to your hub and ensure the power cable is firmly connected. Step four, check the Virgin Media service status page online to see if there are any area outages or maintenance work affecting your connection. Step five, try relocating your hub to a different position. Sometimes moving it away from interference sources or to a more central location can improve the signal quality. Step six, as a last resort, perform a factory reset. Locate the reset button on your hub and hold it for 10 seconds while the device is powered on. This will restore all settings to default. Step seven. If none of these steps resolve the issue, contact Virgin Media Support. You may need manual activation of your hub or there could be a deeper connectivity problem requiring technical assistance.